Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome to my brand new channel Shiny Silver Creates uh, So this is where I'm going to be doing mixed media where I'll do jewellery making, polymer clay um, things that are not um, completely paper based because um, I just thought it's quite nice to separate the two um, my two hobbies um, and I know that um, some of my mixed media stuff does get lost so for those of you who love mixed media hopefully this is is the right place for you so for my first video what I thought I would do is take a simple card base cut it in half and we're going to make two mixed media tags it's as simple as that so this is just an a6 card base so it measures a four and one eighth by five and seven eighths so I'm just going to cut this uh, just slightly over the two like so and it's going to make nice long thin tags um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to come in with my gesso uh, because we do need to prep this so that we can use our mediums. So gesso is your primer. It is something that you will need um, when doing mixed media um, and it is definitely a staple. Um, trying to find a good one is really um, good, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, so the one that I'm using is really hard to get hold of, um, but it is a 13 Arts Clear Gesso that I'm using today. I love their gesso because it's thick, however, their black gesso is awful. Um, the black gesso that I do use is um, Pebios, um, absolutely gorgeous, and it is a one coverage as well with the black gesso, a really, really nice gesso. You can find um, some really decent gessos with um, Pretty Gets Gritty. Um, she does a really nice one. You can also, um, a Finnebear do a nice one. Um, but you have different styles as well of gesso. So you've got heavy bodied gesso, you've got liquid gesso, um, acrylic mediums. Uh, it depends what you're doing um, to what you... <laughs> Yeah, what you're wanting. Now a heavy body gesso is the one that I would highly recommend because not only can you use it as a base, you can also use it as a texture paste, which is something that um, can prove to be very expensive. However, hopefully on this channel, I will show you how to make a simple uh, texture paste, just using very simple ingredients, uh, talc, glue, white paint, and a little bit of water that is it that is how you could make your own texture paste so what i'm going to do so the first thing i've got i've got this gorgeous patina paint which has just leaked everywhere and we're going to use this so first of all and let me actually just shake it so i should have done that before opening it so do shake your products now one thing i'm going to encourage you to do if you do buy any products at all please do use them they do not last forever um, and the amount of products that i have had to bin has been ridiculous so i'm just going to take a bit on my brush and i am just going to pop it down on my paper now i do not mind whatsoever that i'm getting it on my um my like backdrop which is actually a kitchen floor tile um highly recommend it super super nice for cleaning up um so when i finish this um i can quite easily just take my rag or a baby wipe or a cloth and it cleans up perfectly um it is a cheap way to do it these are actually 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters floor tiles and they're only nine pounds from b and q highly highly recommend it i do have the tim holtz mat i also have the tonic studio glass mat they are absolutely brilliant as well don't get me wrong i love them i use them for many many years but i had to find a um, a way of where I could um, film without the, the glare of my lights especially with moving into my studio um, and I have to say I wish I'd thought of it sooner and it wasn't even me who thought of it it was in fact my really good friend's son who said why not use a tile and he was right it has worked perfectly um, so 
yeah nine pounds my other mats my tim holtz one cost me 40 pounds my atonic studio one that cost me 30 pounds so yeah and i got three of these it covers my whole desk keeps my desk protected and really really easy to clean up so now that we've got them done they do need to dry off just a little so we're going to pop them off to the side i'm going to show you what i'm going to use so it's not something you would think of when doing mixed media but i am using a card kit um so this is the love from lizzie card kit and what i really liked about this is the fact that we do have some elements on here i can cut out to make a feature that is what we're going to do the other thing that i would like to use is i have some lace and i also have some cheesecloth and then finally the last thing is i got these for christmas i wanted them for ages we're going to use them and they are woodies they're basically a child's pencil however they are gorgeous i would definitely say they're not mainly a child's pencil at all there's a lot of artists that use these they are expensive not going to lie this box costs around 30 pounds from amazon if i can find it i will leave a link for you in the description box below um but lots of crafters use these the pigments on them are beautiful here's my little swatch they're super super oily and they also react with water really really nice a set to have comes with this set comes with a paintbrush as well as the pencil sharpener to sharpen them so really nice set i did get it for christmas from my husband um so thank you husband um so yeah so what i'm gonna do is we're going to pop on our glue gun i'm gonna bring these back in and what i want to do is i want to bring in some of my cheesecloth now cheesecloth you can get from any chemist i do need to go and buy some it's basically gauze um so any chemist does sell it or you can buy it online um and it is really nice to add texture on to your piece now i am really wanting just to have and i don't want that bit hanging down so let's take that off i'm wanting this just to go on now with the woodies you're thinking how am i going to use them i'm literally just going to get my paintbrush and wet the end of my paintbrush um and go from there really um and put on other color i'm wanting to put a nice darker color on i've got this beautiful lace um again absolutely gorgeous uh, so we are going to use a bit of this on both of them and these tags look gorgeous on any a present whether it be for birthday christmas or you know wherever uh, or for whoever you choose now the color that i'm going to come in with to give a bit of color um or a bit of age shall we say is this one this is a brown and um, there's no color on it but it's the brown one in the set um and this is the color we are going to use so i am using my glue gun you can use fabri-tac for this um actually do you know what let's yeah let's use the fabri-tac um because i think why not let's just go for it so i'm just going to put some glue on my base just to glue this down and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go off camera and i'm going to leave this to dry once it is dry we're going to come back and we're going to finish it off the other thing that i'm thinking that would be nice to bring in is maybe some flowers as well let me just grab a spatula just to um stick this down because it is sticking to my fingers okay so just pop in our glue down and i'm just using my spatula just to make sure that glue is on that cheesecloth so that we can leave that to dry now this is one of the reasons why i tend to use my glue gun because trust me it is a lot easier but for today we are using this now i am going to pop my lace just over the top so i am just going to pop some glue down like so And then I'm going to again use my spatula just to, to sp um, spread that glue around. So let's do it to the same to the other one. 
Okay, like so. So Fabri-Tac is a fabric glue. It is ideal for sticking fabric to any material. Um, it is awful to work with. Not, I, I personally don't like it, um, but I have it so I use it. Um, yeah, I just find it stringy and not very nice. Now, um, however, it is a really, really good hold. So, yeah, I can't really say anything bad about it other than it's stringy and I don't like working with it. But the hold, everything else is just absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave these to dry. Um, once these are finished drying, um, I'm also, while I'm off camera, I'm going to fussy cut some elements out of my paper. While I'm off camera, um, I dig out a few um, other elements to stick onto this. And then, um, yeah, I will be back right we are back so i've cut some bits out and i've grabbed a few bits from my stash as well um that i thought would look really nice so i've got these gorgeous metal keys um most of these actually all came from love from lizzie um so the part of my um try and use up stuff this year because i really do want to use up quite a few bits i'm also thinking i've got these buttons that I might add these in the background. I mean, the chances are the majority of these are going to get covered. And you probably think, come oh, well, on, why I do it? Well, in, in mixed media, you tend to do things in layers. So, I mean, straight away, I'm loving how that's looking with the dimension. Um, however, I know that that's going to get... Is that going to get covered? Because I really like that. And then maybe, ha oh, how nice is that? Yeah, okay, I'm liking that. Right, what I am going to do, we are going to use our glue gun. We're also going to use something called gel medium. This is thick gel medium, which is ideal. So because I am using metal elements, I want them to stick permanently. I don't want them to fall off. So gel medium in this case is your best friend. Um, so you can get a thick and you can get a thin. Um, and I personally personally prefer the thick so for all of these bits um I'm just gonna pop them on now the reason why I've heated my glue gun up is because I am going to glue down the um paper piece with the glue gun um because it it'll just be quicker basically um so we're just going to stick these down so I'm going to try and keep them very similar but just different layouts so as you can see put, making sure to put plenty on now this piece is going to go there so what I want to do I'm going to bring in some cardboard um, because I would it needs to be the same height as our um, buttons so that it's got something to um yeah to sort of cling to in the middle we don't want it so that it's sagging right so just like that now i am going to put some, some gem medium on it as well but just to give that quick uh the quickness of yeah to glue down quickly we are going to use a bit of our glue gun as well and then that's going to just stick on there like so and I'm loving how that's looking. And then, um, do you know what? I'm going to use my glue gun for this heart as well. Just to stick there. And how gorgeous is that? We do have this key, which I'm quite liking there. Now, this, once this is on, I'm not going to be able to do much to this. Um, because we're going to need it to dry so I need the glue to sort of take so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to oh let me put another glue stick in I'm going to use a bit of my glue gun as well for this um, so that I have an instant adhesion as well as the permanent adhesion there we go. So now it means that I can work on that. So if I want to add any mediums or anything to it, I can. The other things that I did pull out is I do, do have these flowers. Um, 
and actually yeah I quite like them there so again just let's use um my glue gun for it and I'm using my glue gun on the wooden bits because I mean they're like paper one if you use the glue gun it is going to be a permanent adhesion um because yeah the fibers sort of stick in with the glue with a metal you've got you've got like a shiny not a shiny surface like a what's the word um a smooth surface so the gel medium just helps it to uh yeah why have I got glue on there? Uh, it helps it to stick and to have a permanent stick where over time um, the uh, glue gun does become brittle and it will just fall off. So I'm going to just add some colour to this. So I'm just going to grab my water. It's not the cleanest water but it is fine. And then I'm going to grab my brush and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the end of my piece and I'm just going to bring that colour in and around like so just to add a little bit of shading and just a little bit of something to yeah help our centerpiece pop because I just think you know sometimes it's all we need and I'm loving how that's looking. So I'm putting plenty of water on and just letting that move. Now we are going on top of lace, so it's not going to be the best movement. Um, it would have been better probably if I'd put a bit of, you still there? Um, what do you call it on? Oh, I like these woodies. <laughs> um, gesso over the top of the lace, but um, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. And just put plenty of water on that just to spread that out I'm just going to yeah oh, I really really like that um, now I have these as well which I think I'm gonna add on to the buttons just because why not why not indeed oh I like that and I'm gonna have one in the middle of there and one in the middle of there so there we have it that is our first tag now what I will do is I'm going to grab my um, hole punch I'm going to pop a hole in the top and then when I come to use it I will literally just put some ribbon in there um, and then you open it up and there is your Oh, how gorgeous is that and there is your tag and your little message so let's do the second one um, and this time I'm going to do it a bit different we're going to put our colour on first so and get that in and it's just I mean you don't have to use woodies for this you could use your um, distress inks if you have them uh, you could use watercolors for this um, you could use anything um, that you have in your stash have a look to see um, what you have and what you could use so yeah I'm just making sure to put plenty of water on because I want that um pigment just to go everywhere and then that's going to go there and again i'm going to put some cardboard underneath so i'm going to use my glue gun okay and then we're going to stick this down okay and then that's just going to go there let's just move that glue out of the way and then we have this heart which let's glue down and we're having it very very similar to our other one now with this one I don't actually think I'm going to put the key on because I don't think we need it and I don't know if I want to put anything else on it actually maybe a couple of these so now I do want to a little bit of glue on this because it's not going straight onto wood and then one up at the top I think like that 
Um, actually, oh, let's just try it. Uh, I think we need one more just at the bottom. Okay, <laughs> put that on. Right, let's turn that off because it's going everywhere. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I really like that. Now, if you want to, you can put words on, you can put anything on. I'm just going to have a look to see what I've got in here, actually. Um, oh, I like them. So, I think we could add a few of those. So... Let's just put some glue on and stick these on. So these are just um, like berries that you can buy, um, especially around Christmas and in January in the sales. Um, and I just pulled them off the stem to stick them down. Um, but I do think it adds just a little bit of something to our piece. So I'm going to put another two on. So you can see just by adding different things you can get different looks to it um, and I think they look very pretty right last bit there we go oh just notice some butterflies in here so do we want a butterfly um, no nope, I don't right okay so let me just sort of pop all of these bits away um, or move them at least um, and let's bring in the other tag so this is my first video on this channel I hope guys you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed it, filming and making um, oh, absolutely loving them let's bring you in let's get rid of all that mess um, the only thing I will say about mixed media is it's messy so if you don't like getting messy then maybe it's not the craft for you uh, but here you have it here are my two gift tags ready to go how beautiful are they um, so yeah I hope it's given you some inspiration guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe and share this video and get this channel out to all your friends <laughs> there's my husband I will see you in the next one bye